should do that for the uh, instead of the clap. Got a Kleenex steaming? Hi, well then. There you go, Bonnie Lass. Jazz walk here. Mm -hmm. Come see Adam, give you a nude. Is that you farting, was it? Hi. Welcome back to Night Filter. I'm Steve. I'm John Bon Jovi. And what a show I've got in store for you today, mine. <laughs> it's guys. Guys. <laughs> uh, how's your week hey, been? Hey, this is trash. <laughs> how's my week been? Aye. I was alright, aye. Oh, you late the polis? Just fucking catching up. <laughs> catching up with the guys. What's the punchline? There isn't one. Where well, live we, man, the daft cunt? I haven't seen you much this week. Where I? Seen you every fucking day. You up to much, eh? How, Evan? <laughs> Why not? You just went to work. Got the How's the new job gone? I tired, I. I was at the doctor's the other day. Were you? Yeah, really? Just went for my routine checkup and uh, I. said no. She says I've got to stop masturbating. Fuck. I says why, like? She says because I'm trying to examine you. <laughs> That's a bad like that, like. I, 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 I took us a little second there. I tried to build a conversation, you know. I know, I was wondering what hey, was up, like. Um, I thought I'd start with the joke because the first topic we've got is pretty fucking deep, isn't it? Is it deep as it we've got fucking one? shootings in America this week. Oh, fuck, I. Wait, it's been, hasn't it been like two mass shootings in the last like three weeks or something? Two or three weeks? That was that one in Buffalo where it was in a supermarket. And it was an 18 year old kid, and he actually drove 200 miles, you know, to the next town to where it was like all like, you know, minority races and that. Honestly. And like just picked this up a market and just got 200 up, miles is a fair distance, you know, like. Just to purely attack. And he, um. Wait, wait, how far is 200 miles in England? Where would that get you from Newcastle? I don't know. Scotland. Would it actually? I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Fuck. Well, but, um, he's obviously drove a kind of distance just to purely fucking shoot loads of people, and, um, he um, got out the car and just started opening fire. There's a video of it and that. And um, he, he, live, he live streamed it on Twitter. Uh -huh. And then um, he got caught by the police. And um, he's pleading not guilty. Not guilty? Uh -huh. Even though he live streamed it? Even though there's a video of him doing it. Oh, but, uh, he says he was trying to purify America and get rid of all the uh, blacks and Hispanics and all that. Jesus Christ. What? Not guilty of what? I don't know. Killing people? I don't know. He obviously he's in his warped mind thinks he's done something like good. So he's getting death penalty then, surely? I don't know. It's too soon. It's still like it's still like early days. How's it early days? They should have shot him on sight. Aye, really. should have. They did with the school shooting, I think. Did they? The one the other day. I just uh, I had. I, it's mad, isn't it, man? The America yeah. man, the fucked. Aye. They need to get rid of them guns. Like, it's happening all the time. I know. With with this school shooting, you know, I read yesterday that um. So obviously, then a week later, if you've been living under a rock or a hard place. But um, I'm in between a rock or a hard place. There was a um, shooting at a school in America. Um, I don't know if this one was a racial thing or not. I'm really not sure. But uh, anyway, the kid was 18 again. And by the way, how's 18-year-old kids getting AK-47s? And he went, he had a bulletproof vest on. He, he woke up one day, he shot his grandma and murdered her. And um, drove to the school, crashed the car outside the school, went in the school and started killing people. But when the police and that came, apparently... Um, even though the police had riot gear and like bulletproof vests on and that, they weren't really approaching. And the parents and that were trying to like jump over the fence and go into the school to try and stop it. The police were arresting them and tasering them. What the fuck? And weren't letting the parents go in to help. Why? But yet the police weren't really approaching them either. So then, like loads of kids, all the eight, between the ages of six and eleven, and two teachers got killed. What? Why? What? What? And this bloke's dead now. And the police shot him. Either killed him. Eventually, like fucking hell. What possesses someone to go into a fucking school and kill kids though? No. It's fucking because you know all the facts and that. Like, didn't this happen like years ago? And there was a school shooting in what was it, Dun Scotland? Oh, I or somewhere. Oh, Dun Dunblane was it? Was it Dunblane? Aye, uh, was that the one you're on about where they had the song uh, "Stay Away to Heaven"? Was it? I don't know. Something but, like that. But it happened, and then the didn't it just take everyone's guns off them? And it hasn't happened again since. Yeah. It's so why why America still allowed their guns? Like, I think like what is the actual reason? I think America's too far gone with the gun culture that like a lot of them just love guns and yeah. it's like they're right to have guns but it's obviously if there was no guns in the community then these things wouldn't happen but it's just mental and they're like they, every time one of these things happen it happens the president or they were speeching all that and say we've got to do some about gun reform and like I even remember Barack Obama doing it and shit and Trump and now this one but then nothing actually ever yeah. changes like nothing ever changes yeah. and this, this happens like more and more frequently I think yeah. like it seems like it's every fucking month I've got a fact there written doing actually about some mad fact actually, but yeah, the, 
just last week we were on about the abortion laws and all that. They're pretty like strict with them laws, like they protect kids, unborn kids, and they're letting all these school shootings happen, fucking killing kids. Like it's a bit like uh, contradictory. But anyway, look at this fact that I had. Um, oh, you're doing. right, I. It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Is that that's right? That's right. Protecting word, isn't kids it? that aren't born yet, but they'll not protect kids in schools from getting shot. Aye, which is happening quite way regular. I think you were saying it's like there's almost you, the four abortion how... after the ages of six and fucking in schools. You know what I mean? Aye, but what what was that fact that you had about how many school shootings there had been? Um, oh, it was Cass. It was something was it like, like um, it was a lot though, wasn't it? Aye, it was more than enough. It was Aye. fucking a was few. It, was it like? 20 odd in the last year. Aye, right, so this, I've got this written down, right, so today is the 144th day of 2022. I don't know, that was probably the other day when this screenshot happened, right? The Ulvaid shooting is the 212th mass shooting of 2022. Shit. The 212th in, in America, 144 days, in America. It's mad, we're not even in fucking junior. That's two we're a day, not, man. We're not even halfway through the year, you are. That's two a day. That's fucking mental. Yet again, the American dream is more like the American nightmare. Oh. It's becoming less and less of a place it I is ever want to Like I've got an like, American friend at work, and she was saying that, like, like she was from LA, but when she obviously lives here now, but when she was in America and she was going to the cinema and stuff, like, her brother was always, like, on edge a bit, and that he would only go to the cinema if they were sitting at the front row, at the edge, and you had the fire escape, Aye. because it's paranoid in case something Aye. happens like that. And it's sad that that's how people have got to be, because it is fucking common, and it's Aye. something that's going to be kind of on your head all the time when you're Aye. going out and about in America. I'm so glad it's not like that, yeah, or in England, know. you know what I mean? I know. It, even just, it is It is always in the back of your head, though, like, stuff like that happening, because it does happen. Yeah. But fuck me, if you were in America, you'd be expecting it. it. Yeah, man, imagine being a, a kid going to school in America, because it happens all the time. Like, Aye. But when you saying to do, like, uh, mad, to have mad Aye. lessons with actually learning Aye, how, so how to get on. You know like how we do, like, fire drills and that at school? Like, Aye. if a fire alarm goes off, you all go out the fire escape, don't use the lifts and all that, whatever. Not that we had lifts in our school, but like, you're working that the day, and you've got to gather on the grass and all that shit. In America, they do drills on if someone comes in and starts shooting guns, like, how to play dead and like and all that shit, and places to hide in that. Fucking hell. It's mad. Now, they, they should start having, like, as sad as it is, they should start having, like, trap doors in all the classrooms where they can just drop down, lock the hatch, and lock Aye. themselves in the fucking class. But um, I saw something yesterday where, in America, right, you've got to be... 21 to rent a car to hire a car uh, and in some cases 25 if so if you're an 18 year old they're not going to rent you a car and why why is that because they think you're too irresponsible you're going to wreck the car however when you're 18 you can buy a automatic rifle <laughs> so, you're, so, so you're not responsible enough to hire a car but you're responsible enough to buy an ak-47 where the fuck's the logic in that man it's stupid it's isn't it america's man. stupid as fuck you know like I just, it blows my mind how fucking dense they are while they're like. And it's sad because it's obviously not all Americans, but it's a large fucking percentage of them, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Is it just the government? I don't know. Well, there's a massive gun culture in America, like, where everyone says it's their right to bear arms and all that shit. And, but, now nah, if I lived in America now, I would probably want a gun, just in case some, I have a gun in every room in my fucking house, in case someone came in or something. Do you know but what you'd mean? think it'd be of a. Uh... A uh, normal mind to not then take that gun and go and yeah. shoot a fucking school up. I think it's a, it's a deeper issue now than just all right ban guns because you can't just ban guns now because the problems in the water are there. The man. problems already there, and even if you stop selling guns, like the guns are already in the population anyway. Everyone's already got them, uh, so it's, it's got to be something else. Like I think the people are a bit mad. The people are a bit mental, eye, a bit out of the top, aren't they, Americans? Well, why would you go into school and shoot They the don't even up? do background checks, man, for people buying guns. I think in some states now they do do background checks, but, like, mainly, like, obviously these two kids didn't have background checks done because apparently they were both known at the police and they both had mental problems. Oh, great. I and yet they, they, yet they were allowed to buy AK-47s. Wow. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, it's fucking not that fucking hard. Don't let fucking people with, like, criminal backgrounds or who are mentally unstable by automatic fucking or any kind of weapons you know what i mean Aye. anyway wait we went straight in we blew the lid off that one went in there deep and hard there oh, did i um was there any particular topics you want to talk about this week i a bit more light hearted anyway right i was just through the week i was just thinking right because like obviously there's people getting on holiday now and i've seen like people at home uh, getting on holiday and this is just this will not take very long to talk about but um, 
you know, like when you rock up on holiday and you've got the tunes pumping and all that, and you're getting berserk on the balcony and all that, and just having a good time with it, like dancing. Those vibes. were the days, aye. But like tunes on, like good tunes. Fiesta jungla, aye. But um, and then like you know, like, if you rocked up on holiday now and you are, as we are now, a bit more old and, and timid, and a family of Raji's rocked up next door with the tunes pumping, you'd be like, oh for fuck's sake! Can you imagine this scenario, right? Can you imagine? Can you imagine a family of goths rocked up and had like heavy metal on? And that led us to think, where the fuck the goths gone on holiday? <laughs> like, where, where? I've never seen a fuck out in Spain. Now we're walking to him with a fucking nail varnish on and that. Maybe it's a different guy on holiday. Fucking Transylvania, the guy. <laughs> Either the family guy. Where did the guy on holiday? Did they ever leave? <laughs> did they ever leave the fucking the cave that they live in? I don't know. I don't know. They're a mad bunch. Are they still gone? You never see many over here. Goths. I never see many goths. I don't know. Each little one. Aye. Uh, but do you see them over here? You used to see a lot of hippie green in the tour in my them days. Oh, aye. That was a mad little... Like, wasn't that just like a craze like for the early 2000s and that and it died out? Hippie green. <laughs> Stunk down there. <laughs> Grease. <laughs> Grease and nail varnish. Aye. Oh, and spiky boots. Aye. Uh, Leather. You were a goth, <laughs> weren't you? Oh, I was He was a goth at school, wasn't he? Fuck off. <laughs> Yeah, you have slipped my t shirts on. Oh, my eye. You did. <laughs> I did I give me a death word. Fucking hip hop, this one. Aye, hip hop. <laughs> Lovely t shirt, then. Um, a bit of compliment on your t shirt. Aye, thanks. It's really nice. Um, oh, you look really nice today, Steve. How's Phil? Have you heard out from Phil this I've week? I've actually not heard from Phil. Are you not? Nah. Sacked you off? Not in a while. You must have got the hump. I think, yeah, I think he watches the show, though. Honestly. Because that day when I was pissed and he texted us saying, uh, <laughs> Saying, oh, you look really nice today or whatever when we're getting a taxi. Aye. I just replied with a link to the podcast. Oh, why? <laughs> You've let him on I thought there, I was going to be a subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> we're struggling, yeah, we'll take any subscribers I we can know. get. <laughs> yeah, Phil, if you're watching, put a comment in the thing. Aye, Phil, if you're out there. You dirty pervert. Bootsy fancies you. Bootsy wants a blast. Maybe he's I. Um, I've, got in, my life. I've got an interesting story here. Have you seen that thing? Keep it lighthearted, will you? Fuck me. It is kind of lighthearted. Oh. Um, you've probably got a bit of uh, knowledge, a more, bit more knowledge than me on this subject as well, about um, the bloke who's claiming he's Hitler's son. Nice and lighthearted there. Eh? Well, <laughs> I, 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 I actually, uh, I did so that. So I'll read the little bit that I got off the internet, then you can tell us, because I know I you know watched that. Much, that um, I didn't watch much, but you watched that. that. No, no, about, anyway, you'll know what I mean. So... In nineteen, I'll put it here for the mic. In nineteen seventy-seven, a railway worker from a small, him, Steve. from a small town in France named Jean Marie Lorette came forward with a shocking claim that he was the son of Adolf Hitler. Wait, wait, what year? Nineteen seventy-seven. All right. And while such a story might sound outlandish, and while the history books maintain that Hitler died childless, Lorette's claims have been, sorry, have an eerie trail of evidence behind them. Beyond the physical resemblance between Hitler and Lorette, believers point to the fact that a portrait of a woman resembling Lorette's mother was allegedly found among Hitler's possessions after his death, and that Lorette and Hitler had a small, had a, sorry, had similar handwriting. Furthermore, the two men have the same blood type, and DNA testing has been unable to rule out the possibility that Lorette was Hitler's son. And perhaps most convincingly of all, um, are the, um, the German arm, the German army records from the war years from the war years, revealing that officials delivered envelopes of cash to Lorette's mother during the Nazi occupation of France. Who, who, who delivered money? The Nazis delivered packages of money to her house during the war. Why? And That's mad. Well, because he knocked, up, knocked her up. But yeah, I was saying that Hitler, had, just, just now it said Hitler had died childless. Yeah. Didn't he die with, he had a wife, Eva Braun, and didn't he have two kids as well? I don't know, but I was saying you watched that documentary, didn't you? About how that's meant to be, how he didn't die and he moved somewhere. Aye. What happened there? Oh, I mean, there's loads of evidence to suggest that loads and loads of the Nazis after the war fled to South America. There's like places in Argentina, I think, where everyone just speaks German and that. That's true. That. Yeah, that's there's, crazy, a, isn't it? there's a wicked uh, documentary. I think it's on. It took us ages to find it, you know, and I've never gotten around to watching it. But it's like a full series, and I think it's called. Hunting Hitler, something like that. And it, it was on Joe Rogan, that's what put it onto that, because there's an interview with the bloke who presents that programme on Joe Rogan, and it, when, it, when I was listening to how, what, what they do, it's fucking marginal. Like the, tra like the tracing, the route 
of Hitler, and they reckon he didn't die at all, he just fled. Because oh. there was never any evidence that he They've did die. they got a fragment now. of skull that they used to say it was Hitler's, uh, but apparently that's... It's a female skull. Is it? Uh, the um, one that they've got is female. Go. Blew, but the, I, blew the lid off it. Aye, aye, right. Away. Well, I was blowing the lids off things. Put that in your documentary. Aye. Aye, but that's worth a watch. That like I, I need to watch it myself, so I can't say it for definite. It's worth a watch. But it sounds fucking mint. But I the trace. And there's people... There's people in, there's like old blokes in this place in Argentina who swear blind that they've seen um, uh, submarines and fucking boats and that rocking up on the beach in Argentina or wherever it was, uh, South America somewhere, and they swear blind they've seen Hitler there. That's mad, And it? there's villages that didn't even speak uh, Spanish, like the rest of Argentina, I told you. And the full Germans. This, this bloke even looks like a Nazi, that one that they interviewed. That's crazy, isn't it? Uh -huh. Mad times. What do you think, guys? Do you think he'll, he'll be dead now, obviously, but do you reckon Hitler didn't die in the war and he got away and, you know, had kids and all that? Aye. Aye. But they were they obviously saying that he was born during the war. Um, aye, well... Hitler's occupation of France. Yeah, aye. So that's why the Nazis were so sending... So when they were in France, he got some French bird pregnant. Yeah, so why else would the Nazis be delivering some French wife money, you know what I mean? No, and he had a picture of her in his house. Who had a picture? Hitler, they the reckon they found him um, when he was supposed to die, but might just went missing or whatever, they went through his house and his possessions, he had like a, a patent of that woman, or that looked a lot like her. No way. And they reckon they both, I'll put the picture on the screen, um, they reckon they both look very much alike, like the son and Hitler, and the handwriting's very similar, but I mean, that's fucking... But what were they saying, DNA evidence, DNA tests can't rule out yeah, that they're not? Um, how can't they? DNA testing has been unable to rule out the possibility that... They're related, but so. I thought, like, I've watched Jeremy Kyle, man, they do a DNA test and they can tell you 100%. It must just be because they probably haven't got a lot of Hitler's DNA, have they? How? Well, how would they? They've got the son's DNA, but how will they, where were they going to get Hitler's DNA from? They don't know where he is. Dentist records and that? Maybe I. He went, he did his whole, he went to World War One and everything with Germany, Hitler. How would they take his DNA? Surely. I don't know. Maybe he's off the fucking grid. I don't know. They might, like, they might have a small. Sample, but but it might not be enough to conclusively like rule it out. You know what I mean? Maybe. Anyway, just thought it'd be an interesting topic for the guys. Well, there's that lid. <laughs> Watch it for that lid. <laughs> Lids are flying now. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of lids, Elvis's films out, and you oh, reckon Elvis died? I died having a shite, didn't he? he? Did I? That's the one. It's <laughs> a two pack. I'm thinking about. Do you reckon two pack died? I think two pack died. I. What about Bicky? I wish, I wish he fucking hadn't, like, and Bicky. What about Bicky? Aye, I reckon. Speaking about Bickies. They both died, aye. Could have done with a Bicky for that fucking, uh, like cup of tea there. The Bicky one, I think, still unsolved, but the Tupac one's pretty much solved now, isn't it? Like, the guys, like, admitted it and everything. It was a... It was a belt of a thing on Stan. Unsolved. Stan's like Netflix in Australia, see? But it was a belt of... No, it was a dramatised thing. Aye, about Tupac wicked and Bicky. Aye. I'm not, I'm not watching it. They blew the lid off that. I've not seen it, but, um... I think it was a guy, Orlando Anderson or something, now who they jumped at the Tyson fight, Aye. at the Vegas thing. So he was a piano nut at him, apparently. He was like a crip and all that, and he was like the wrong person, really. And Aye. then he just came back and like with his mate or whatever, and they just found Shug and Tupac and just killed him, basically. But um, but the guy's in prison for something else, and he's um, apparently like admitted it in recent years. Rob, if you're watching, you'll have the crack. Rob will not be watching. I know. <laughs> on you. But um but apparently he's like admitted to it and everything and like there's other people who like were close to like that gang and that Hoggy who nah. spoke like about it and saying oh it was definitely it was him and all that so Ask Hoggy. I don't know if he'll know that. Maybe he's a day Hoggy. Tell him. <laughs> tell Hoggy tell me. Hoggy blow the lid off it. Aye. Send uh, uh, peace. Hoggy likes flying lids all the one, I'll don't he? Blowing lids of everything. <laughs> we should call it the fucking knee lids. <laughs> He lives aloud. I'm gonna blow the fuck ass off. No, I will. You got any more notes? Notation. How about ye? Let's have a look. Nah. God, fuck all. Well, this brings us fucking trash. That, that brings us to the part of the show called uh, "Who's Got the Line." Oh, uh, is that already? This part of the show where uh, okay, it is, right? this part of the show where um, you know have to say a line from a film. The other one has to guess what it is. So, have you got got one for me this week? Yeah. Uh, was it my tone? I think it's your tone, aye. My tone, is it? All right. Price check on Vegiclean, aisle five. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit too much cheese on the taco. <laughs> <laughs> it's a... Uh, it's it's me, myself and Irene, isn't it? Aye. Aye. I'll give you that one, aye. Aye. 
It's a belt of quotes, I thought it was. Oh, there's no doubt. I was thinking, like, in my head, I'll see one of that film, I was too many to pick from. I was, Aye. I you know what I always one. get them films mixed up? Me, myself, and Irene, and there's another one, similar, I kind of think, where Ben Stiller's in, he gets his balls caught in the fucking. Oh. What's that one called? There's something about Mary. Aye. There's something it's about Irene. <laughs> Aye. That's a good film. Oh, aye, is it? That's a hilarious film. Aye. Have you got a line? Yeah. Miss Parker? Miss Parker. <laughs> aye. The Lord Dude, is my shepherd. You know what I want. <laughs> Friday. Aye. Yeah, Friday I got to sit in court all day. Aye, nah, aye. Quality in it, man. <laughs> them are good films, them, like, Friday. Next Friday. Oh, unbelievable. Like, that, like, Fr- shame they never did the next one. Friday, like, it's probably my top five films of all time. It's like, a film you can watch over and over again, and like I can quote every line. Every line in the film, from start to finish, is like a good line. There's well, no then. throwaway lines. Nah, I'm not doing that. You can't. But it's up there, like for you me. You quote every line. Well, I can. Go on. Then. Nah. From the start. Nah. From the top. Nah. Um, the first one. I could even deal with the, the music. I could. I know how, how it starts with the song and everything. Aye. But uh, Go on, then. How was nah, it? I'm not doing that. But um. Sorry, shaking It's the same as like dumb and dumb as it that for me. I can watch that over and over again. Uh, good fellas is that for me. What else would I say? What would you say your top five is? I would say those three in the Home Alones. I'll class the Home Alones as one though, so that's Best four. Best films ever. Like your favourite films that you just watch over and over again. Like, I wouldn't necessarily say like they're necessarily the best films, but they're my favourite films. I would say Goodfellas is probably arguably one of the best films though. I haven't seen it, mate. It's class. You put that was, on the story, I actually. Gonna, I was going to tell you what's like from Goodfellas, I thought it was points, you not know what it is. Aye. Um, but there's some belter lines oh, in that. It's another one, it's like, it's a serious, like, it's a gangster film. Think of um, Wolf of Wall Street, right? You know, like that style, or it's about a true story about a real bloke, but it's kind of funny as well. Oh, it's the same style as that. Is it It's like a gangster film, but it's funny as fuck. But it's, I'm a, true, watch it's it. a true story, I'm it's Martin Scorsese, it. and it's got loads of unbelievable actors in it. You just spoiled it there. How? Yeah, yeah. So it's got loads of unbelievable actors in it. <laughs> spoiler, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, was Spoiler that? alert. But um, honestly, you know, it's a thoroughly fucking brilliant film. I love it, mate. Uh, you know what's mad? I've never got around to watching that, even that everyone says it's unreal. And I like them kind of films. I just never I, watched I honestly think you love it, you know. Aye. I think you love it. If you like sort of um, gangster films, like Sopranos Aye. sort of style Aye. stuff, and you also like that kind of Wolf of Wall Street kind of movie, it's like them kind of mixed. Aye. It's like it's like a series. It's a true story about something that actually happened. It's the biggest, like, actually, I'm not, I'm not telling you what happened. But, um, yeah, that was the spoiler alert. Spoil it. Spoil it. But um, it's like a true story about this real gangster, Henry Hill, who like Aye. was a real person and that. But it's done in like a really funny way. It's meant. It's uh, also like violent, it's like old crime and all that's been. Um, R.I.P. really. Oh, by the way, I just died the other day. I know, yeah. Any sleep? Uh-huh. I hope I can't like that. Without I someone's know. fucking, without someone strangling us or something. I hope I just... He's only like 64, wasn't he? I hope I just drift off into the, number, 64. Into the next yeah. life, as it were. But I hope I'm a bit older than that, though. 64 is young, isn't it? I wonder what was my then. God knows. Bless him, eh? Uh, how far are we? How, how far long are we? Aye. How far long are you? Three months, mate. <laughs> uh, 22 minutes. All right. Um, right. I've got a little piece I wanted to do. It's kind of funny. Well, I think it is anyway. It's a bit of a history lesson for you this week, guys. <laughs> it's about this really uh, incredible, innovative... Like, Teach them, Steve! Inventor, right? You know those um, suits you see when people throw themselves upside the mountains? Them, like, wing suits. Hasmat. In, in the glide. Hasmat suits. No. Um, like, base jumping and that. So this guy, who was the first bloke who invented one of them, right... Franz Reichelt was an Austrian-born French inventor who Take made... Take that, mate. I know, I A lot of France going on here today. Um, was an Austrian-born French inventor who made a living as a tailor, but spent his free time working on a flying parachute. It was originally designed um, to be worn by pilots. He thought he was a squirrel and that. So now I think the, the plane was going down, that would jump out and glide away. And um, uh, Reichelt's first tests were performed using dummies, and the only one was successful... He wanted to test the suit himself. So in 1912, he was given permission to carry out a test on the lower level of the Eiffel Tower. So I've actually got the footage here, guys. It's really spectacular. Put, put it in, Techno. Should we, get, should we get him to put it in? Techno. Aye? Are oh, you going to put it on? See if this works. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, it is. Is it is? Aye. Oh, I feel 
Fucking hard. No way. I so the parachute. Well, fear- I cut the bit where we're laughing there, like top cell. Well, you know, it is. It is fucking funny. The parachute failed to deploy, and he plummeted 187 feet to his death. It- oh, I'm still doing for one. So the parachute failed to deploy, and he plummeted 187 feet to his death. His right leg and arm were crushed. His spine was broken, and the front of his face exploded out the back of his skull. Oh my god! <laughs> Honestly, his face was on the back of his skull. After <laughs> the, the, um, his face exploded out the back of his skull. Shut up, man! <laughs> After Rachel's death. The prefect of police issued a statement that they had given him permission um, to ride Shell only to perform dummy drops, and under no circumstances was he allowed to make the jump himself. <laughs> Where got the hell for this? What a guy. <laughs> Fucking hell. Isn't that mad? The poor cunt. Like, why, why would they not put a, a neck dune or a trampoline or something? Well, he thought it was going to work. So, you know how he done... Yeah, um, fair enough, like, he's got confidence in his cell leg. But now, you know, his... Hey, this is the Night Filter podcast, guys. That, um... But that design went on to be developed by other designers, and it is what it is now, do you know what I mean? Uh, but that's how it started. You should have but, called um, it the Rachel Jack. You know something. how he says, um, he, he done three dummy drops first, only two of... Only one worked. So he must have done one that failed, one that failed, the next one worked. Oh, it worked. So I'm going to give it a go. <laughs> no, I've got it now. He must have been wrecked at the time, wasn't he? Fucking hell. <sighs> hey. Oh, well, that was all I've got for today, guys. I hope, <laughs> you, I hope you enjoyed that one. Aye. Aye, fucking hell. <laughs> Was that you? <laughs> <laughs> what am I telling you about fucking having some manners on the fucking programme? <laughs> yeah, I read, um, just to kill a little bit of time at the end of the show, yeah, right? Uh, we started on some fucking a deep. We're going to end on a, a serious thing. And now you've seen about Kevin Spacey's fucking... Finally been thingied for whatever he's been doing, touching blokes. He's actually been arrested. I have. He's been he's been arrested for rape, raping men. I but this is the recent one, you know. But can you not remember? Like, was it not like a few years ago? Mm. He's been accused over I've, the years, been loads been of times. Accused loads in recent years. Aye. There was a whole thing about him, wasn't that? Because didn't like one of the people who accused them of like sexual assault. Like, suddenly he just got hit by a car. Ah, yeah. And died. I wait. I, I was looking it up the other day, right? So it says, uh, in, May, in May, this is 2019, Kevin Spacey's accuser hit by a car and dies. July the 2nd, another accuser drops the lawsuit. September the 3rd, uh, another accuser uh, dies of an unknown cause. And December, Ari Ben, the fourth accuser, found dead. Fucking hell. Like, who's killing all these... People? That's scary, man. That's weird, that. You know what it is? It comes back to that whole um, powerful paedophile ring Aye. in Ho- Hollywood, like with um, Jeffrey Epstein and the whole reason why he got suicided in prison because Aye. he was going to blow the lid off loads of other like, high-profile, powerful paedophiles. Um, same thing, like uh, Kevin Spacey's probably involved that lot and he's probably got a lot of power and money and he can just make these things go away. It's disgusting, isn't it, man? And I fuck them. I used to like Kevin Spacey's and that, that's something... He's in some good films, but fuck him. Aye. Man. He's cancelled for me, like. Aye. And I, it's hard, isn't it? You know, when you like, you like an actor, but you're neither just a freak. Like fucking Tom Cruise, man, Top Gun. Like, he's a, he's a bit of a divvy, isn't he? Well, that's the thing, I He's, I mean, he's not a paedophile, as far as I know. But, uh, but he's, he's, that, that. He's, he's a religious Scientology nut, isn't he? And Aye. what they do is fucking mental as well. Is it actually? I don't have very little about it. I've watched some stuff. You know that Leah Remini? Um, she's a, she's an actor. She's Jiro's best mate. She's in. Um, know, she was know. in that King of Queens show. She's the wife. Oh really? Uh, she's not in Scientology. She was in Scientology she was. from a kid up because her mum was into it and all that all stuff. Right. And when she got to a certain age, she was like, "Oh fuck, so she had to do loads of exams and all that to stay in, and you've got to level up throughout the ranks and all that." Aye. And um, she just started realizing how weird it was, and she wanted to try and get out of it, and it was like almost impossible to get out of. And she thought she'd done loads of podcasts like exposing Tom Cruise, just saying that, um, like when she wanted to get out, they started like sending people to follow her and like. Um, and like doing loads of mad shit, and he was saying that like he's sh- he's got like levels of people before you get to him, so you can't even just like contact him. You've got to like, and it's just like loads of weird dark shit happening. And did you get the churches it's, it's, in there? It's, it's basically the UK or not? It's, it's a cult. Did they get the church? No, it, Scientology. It's not really though, is it? Because have you have you never seen the Scientology churches on the main streets in Sydney? Have you never seen it? Yeah, but it doesn't mean it's not a cult. Does it not? No. Nah, I thought a cult had to be hidden away. 
No, nah. A cult's just like. I thought cult's like. A cult's just like. up in the middle cu- with the nah, on it. A time. cult's just like a weird religious group with like mental beliefs that's different to the norm. Like they believe in aliens. Scientology, Scientology believe that. Um, like Andy? that. That head. Oh no, I, I believe in aliens, but they believe that like the the head of Scientology, the bloke who made it up, basically wrote the book and made it up. It was like an alien and all that shit and like. What's he called? I can't remember. The main bloke. He's got a normal name, hasn't he? I don't know. What but, the uh, hell's teeth was that? Maybe we need to do a bit more research on this subject. Like, well, while we're on him, though, by the way, now that's a new Top Gun film. About that's it. what. That's what. Fair, I've never watched Top Gun. But that's why I said it because film, you know, like actors that you didn't really like, Aye. you didn't really want to watch their yeah. films. They like, came in some good films. But Top Gun, to- Top Gun ones would be unreal, and this new Top Gun's supposed to be even better, apparently. You know. Aye. And, um, I've heard loads of people are raving about it. Aye. My mate wants to go with them to watch it in one of those now the motion chairs that throws you out. Hi. It's supposed to be like dead good, you know. It's like you're flying through the fucking sky in the aeroplane. They might be really realistic, them chairs at the pictures, you know. Are they really? Aye. Um, they reckon even during the sex scenes, it's a dildo up your arse and that. Aye! <laughs> Does it actually? Aye. Get it. Where do I sign scenes. up? No, aye. Top bum. <laughs> right. Get me in there. Well, I think we'll um, bring this one to its conclusion, aye, eh? digress it. Well, aye, thanks very much for tuning in, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the show. I and, didn't. Um, aye. Signing out. Signing out, eh? Thank you very much.